For decades, thymectomy has been a mainstay in the treatment of myasthenia gravis, but there is no rigorous evidence of its benefit. In a multicenter randomized trial, 126 patients with generalized myasthenia gravis and no thymoma visualized on CT were randomized either to thymectomy plus prednisone or to prednisone alone. The trial included adults 18 to 65 years old with disease of less than five years duration and a Myasthenia Gravis Foundation clinical classification of two to four on a scale of one to five with five indicating the most severe disease. The primary outcomes were the average quantitative Myasthenia Gravis score and the average prednisone dose requirement over three years. The average quantitative Myasthenia Gravis score was 6.15 in the surgery group and 8.99 in the prednisone alone group, indicating better disease control with surgery. The average alternate day prednisone requirement was lower in the surgery group, 44 milligrams as compared with 60 milligrams. The two groups did not differ in complication rates, but the prednisone alone group had more symptoms related to medications. The authors conclude that thymectomy improved clinical outcomes over three years for patients with non-thymomatous myasthenia gravis. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.